Hello friends, my name is Victoria and welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, welcome. I do a bunch of videos on makeup and style and whatever else I'm interested in. Probably move those, that was for, I was decorating. My last video on 12 things that I did not expect about Texas is doing really well, so I'm glad you enjoyed that. Um, be sure to check it out if you haven't already, but today we're gonna be talking about something really important. Now, I am guilty of this myself, so while I'm calling you out, I'm also calling myself out. I feel like most people don't clean their makeup brushes enough. See, you're supposed to clean your makeup brushes once a week, but I probably do it once <clears throat> every like four months. So even though we're supposed to clean makeup brushes that often, I probably clean them like once every four months, which is so bad for your skin. And so whenever I break out, I'm like, oh my God, I wonder why I'm breaking out. It must be hormones, it must be something I ate. It's like, girl, it's because you're not taking care of your makeup brushes. Makeup brushes hold all that bacteria, that dead skin, that oil from your face. It's just a petri dish, and I know that's gross, but it's just a petri dish uh, for bacteria, and you need to clean your brushes deeply more often than what we're doing. But on the other hand, you don't want to damage your brushes. But I have seen a bunch of people wash their makeup brushes wrong, which makes the bristles fall out. All of the time I see on two spectrums, either people who have never washed their brushes ever as if it's something that doesn't even happen and then on the other side is people who are cleaning their brushes completely wrong damaging the bristles and you don't want that so we're going to go on a makeup brush cleaning journey <laughs> that is the goal i have is to clean my brushes more often and avoid breakouts so let's dive right in kill some bacteria and get those bristles clean the first thing I do is I go to my sink and I turn on the warm water. You don't want like too, too hot, but you definitely don't want cold. Warm water works a lot better with soap to really break apart all of the oils, all of the bacteria. Now, over all things, I really, really like to use dish soap because I feel it works so much better to really get down deep into the bristles at the very base of the brush and clean out everything that is hidden in there. Now some people use shampoo, which tends to be softer for hair, but I really just like dish soap. Um, I do not recommend hand soap, I just don't feel like it works at all. Dish soap in itself though is not bad for your makeup bristles, especially because we use it every day during dishes on our hands. It really is designed to be a softer soap, so don't worry about that. It definitely is a lot safer for synthetic brushes. Now what I like to do is I like to squirt some soap directly directly onto the brush and work it in using your fingers. And then when I feel like it's really worked in and it's bubbling up and it's all lathered, I actually take a textured surface. So that can be either your fingers, but I like to use these little rubbery things. I found them at TJ Maxx. I don't really know what they are. I think they're to massage your face, but they work so well to clean the bristles and get down at the very base of the brush handle, which is so important. That's where everything nasty is hiding. What you're going to see is the makeup is just going to melt right out of the brushes and so what you can do when you see that a lot of color is coming out just rinse it out under the water and then rinse and repeat until the water and the lather that is coming out is completely clean instead of contaminated with old dirt and makeup I really like to do this in a circular motion I just feel like it works so much better getting inside the brush just make sure that you're not grinding the bristles into whatever textured surface that you have just be a little more gentle. You can work it with some firmness, but you don't have to use so much pressure because we don't want to break any of those bristles. So here I'm going to take a blush brush, and even though it doesn't necessarily look super dirty, let me show you just how much is packed in there because I promise you, when you are putting that top layer onto the brush of whatever you're using, highlighter, blush, whatever you're choosing, even though you're putting it on the top of the brush, it slowly 
slowly, slowly seeps in and hides itself. You're gonna see just how dirty the water actually gets. All right, and here are some really colorful, dirty eyeshadow brushes, like blues and reds, but all of these can be washed out as well without too, too much effort. And honestly, the whole process is super satisfying, just seeing all of these gross brushes be completely cleaned, knowing that the next time you use it on your face, there won't be any bacteria or dead skin cells. All right, the second step is totally optional, but sometimes I squeeze out the brushes and then spritz it with a disinfectant just as an extra measure. I wouldn't use anything like rubbing alcohol, which is very harsh. So what I would do is I would take a disinfectant that is made for makeup brushes and only makeup brushes and spritz it on the top and maybe work it in a little with your hands. This is only optional though, because the dish detergent is designed to get rid of almost everything there. So this is just an extra measure you would want to take. And then the last step, this is so easy. Just shape the brushes back into whatever form or shape they were gently with your hands, squeeze out any excess water. And then what I like to do is lay down a towel and put something under underneath the towel that will raise one side up a little bit and then I put the brush handle um, facing downward with the actual bristles on the surface of the towel so all of the water that might be at the base of the brush will drip down outside and out of the brush instead of seeping into the handle because if you have wood or metal handles this can deteriorate over time the actual holding together of the brush handle and we really want to avoid that so just make sure that the water is draining out. So that is it. The process to clean your makeup brushes really doesn't take that long. And even though I know we might get lazy sometimes, I recommend and I challenge you to clean your brushes at least once a week. And I'm gonna be trying to as well because girl, I've been breaking out and I wanna avoid that. So I hope you found some of these tips helpful to keep your brushes safe and clean without damaging any of the bristles and getting rid of all of that nasty acne causing bacteria. If something did help you in this video don't forget to give it a thumbs up a like and a comment i love hearing from y'all give me a question a comment a suggestion whatever you'd like i just want to hear from you guys and last but not least don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell icon so you get notifications every single time that i post which is weekly and i will see y'all in the next video Bye bye